Thanks for joining me, I'm Aaron Rutten, and in this course, I'll guide you through all of the important tools and features found in Rebel 7 Standard and Pro. I'll also share many of the digital painting tricks and techniques I have learned throughout my career. In addition to familiarizing yourself with Rebel's essential content and features, you'll also learn some of the fundamental illustration skills that you can use to create art like a pro. The two primary goals for this course are for you to become more confident using Rebel, and for you to feel more comfortable making art on a computer. You'll discover the various types of brushes while learning how to paint with each category. You'll learn how to modify brush properties to create your own custom brushes. You'll learn how to use the important features and tools in Rebel. You'll learn how to customize the Rebel interface to best suit your needs. And we'll go through a real-world digital art workflow from beginning to end so you can utilize the skills you will learn to create a finished product. Rebel is a very robust art application, so to keep this course concise, I'm not going to spend much time on features that are not essential to my painting technique. By the end of this course, you will have developed a strong foundation that you can build upon with my other courses and tutorials, which go more in-depth into painting specific subjects. During this course, we will be working with several template files I have created to help demonstrate brushes, tools, and other features. You can load these templates into Rebel and follow along with me. Let's go ahead and dive right into this course. I'll start by giving you an overview of what the Rebel software can do. Rebel is art software that allows you to draw and paint on your computer. Rebel stands out from the other art applications by offering some of the most cutting edge natural media simulations. Rebel's brushes are very organic looking, so it's easy to get the randomness that traditional painters use to create expressive art. Making art in Rebel feels more natural than the average art software which is why it's near the top of my list of art applications. Here are some examples of the types of media you can simulate. Rebel offers the most natural looking watercolor effects you've ever seen. The paint drips and flows across your canvas. It can be dried, blown around, dripped in different directions, and can even interact with the canvas grain. There are also thick oil and acrylic brushes which build up gloopy paint that you can smear around. It looks and feels like you're applying real paint to a canvas, rather than pushing around pixels. I especially enjoy breathing life into digital paint by making it appear glossy and reflective. The paint mixing in Rebel is also outstanding. You can blend using natural pigment mixing where yellow and blue make green. Best of all, because this is digital art, you can combine media together in ways that are not possible in real life. Just as well, you can leverage digital art tools that are only available in a computer environment. You can warp and transform elements of your artwork. You can modify your artwork using layers. You can change colors. And you can draw with customizable guides, grids, and in perspective. I was a beginner once, so I understand that digital painting and Rebel can seem intimidating at first. However, there's no need to worry. I will break down the material into manageable sections so that you can easily follow along and learn at your own pace. Let's start by taking a look at what happens when you launch Rebel, followed by how to start using Rebel. That's coming up next.